Good morning, everybody. From Athens. So, uh, like we said at the end of the last video, we did miss a day. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of just like, our friends came into town, and we did go to the Acropolis and stuff, but their kids were really, really jet-lagged. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was just way too chaotic and hectic <laughs> to film. It was fun to do, though. It was, it was really fun to see the kids running around. And... Yeah. So we we'll actually only have today left in Athens, and then we're going to go to uh, an island tomorrow here in Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, but today, yeah, we're just gonna, I think, just try and go eat as much Greek food as we can, mm -hmm. and introduce you guys to our friends. Yeah. Okay. So this is Tessa, <laughs> and this is Ryan. These are our friends from back home. And then they have two kids. What's up, buddy? And today we're gonna go on a food tour. We are going on a food tour. We're really excited to eat all of the things. Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for the first stop with food today, this is very hodgepodge, and mm -hmm. I apologize for that in advance, but Tessa and Ryan have been getting up at 5 a.m. with the kids every morning. Mm -hmm. And they found this really nice bakery that's supposed to have awesome food, so. So we're gonna try that first. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we're just going to say that we've never made a video with kids in it before, so <laughs> just excuse us if it's super chaotic. More chaos than usual. Yeah. What is that, dude? Uh, cookie. We're trying to decide whether we sit down and eat or keep walking and eat because it'll keep the kids calmer. Oh, yeah. How's your coffee? It's really good. They put cinnamon and chocolate on top, and it's delicious. Okay, I figured since we'd be eating a lot of sweet foods and just like foods in general, that I would go for something green. So I got a spinach something. I, I think there's some cheese in here. Oh my god. Also, it weighs like a pound. That is so good. It's like warm spinach and like feta cheese maybe, and then really buttery flaky dough. That's a good breakfast. This is going to be a very controversial opinion, but I actually think Greece has better pastries than the rest of Europe. And I know people aren't going to like me for that, but anyways, I got Greece what... Like <laughs> I got what kind of looks like... Um, it's like a flaky pastry, like a croissant, and I think it has ham and cheese in it. I did not try to even pretend like it was healthy like Tia did with hers. Oh yeah. It was like some kind of feta or goat cheese in almost everything. It's the best thing ever. I guess I got carried away. I got baklava, and then like two little cookies. This is like a little cream puff thing. It's good. Good. Still got the anxiety that across the street. There's no waffles on the other side of this one. So it wasn't until we started traveling with Tessa and Ryan that I realized how slow Chavio and I are. Like, they wake up so early, they get ready early, they're the first ones out the door, and look how fast they walk. They're like half a mile ahead of us. It's crazy. Okay, so we're in the most like tourist trap area of Athens, uh, and this is the first time I've seen Greek yogurt. So this is Greek yogurt with coconut flakes, strawberry jam, and granola. Ah. Very good. It's completely different than like Greek yogurt you get in the US. Like it's not bitter at all. It's really good. So I'm just stealing Ryan's yogurt. Turns out that they're actually better at picking food than we are. Figures. I think the idea now is to catch one of those tiny little trains that we've filmed all over Europe that just go like five miles an hour, but kids love them. And the kids are starting to get antsy, so we're gonna do that.
So Tess and Ryan just took the kids back to our Airbnb. It was definitely time for a uh, for a nap. I mean, definitely time for tea and a nap too, but we're gonna have food, so powering through. What do you think of the train? Honestly, we've seen those trains all over Europe and we've never actually been on one, but it was really fun. The kids were like a good excuse to go on one. Yeah, they like drove by a bunch of monuments that we probably wouldn't have walked to because of how hot it is. And mm -hmm. It was a fun time and the kids were really into it. Yeah, and it was only five euro a person, so honestly not that bad. But we said this was a food video, so we're gonna try and stick to that. So this is, I think, the busiest street in all of Athens. It branches straight off of Syntagma Square. We were actually here last time we were in Athens about a year ago, and it was so much quieter. It's just like insanely busy right now. I love it. We're gonna try and find something cheap to eat, even though this is a super touristy area, so fingers crossed. Two or three streets over, we found this very inexpensive restaurant. It's called The Traditional, so hopefully that means we're getting traditional Greek food. Um, so we started with a salad because we have not been eating super healthy today so far. Um, and honestly, I could eat Greek salad every day. It's just a huge brick of feta cheese with a whole bunch of really nice olive oil on top and some spices and then just like huge chunks of cut up vegetables. That was so much cheese. That was like, that was too much cheese. Hold on. So the cheese is super tangy and it's cold and it really brings the whole salad together. I'm gonna pick out the olives though. Even though I love olive oil, I really don't like olives. So Trio's gonna eat all of this. I have no idea what this is called. I just pointed to a picture on the menu. I guess if the menu have pictures on it, it means it's not a very local place. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I think it's just like a massive bell pepper stuffed with rice, olive oil, and it looks like tomato sauce. I'm realizing this is like the first outwardly healthy looking meal that we've probably eaten like in a very long time on these videos. But Greece makes their healthy food taste good, so. Oh my god. Oh, this is a tomato. This isn't a bell pepper. That's a tomato. Yeah. And it tastes like there may be lemon or lime in there. There's a ton of spices and herbs in the uh, rice. And it's all just like very soft because it was cooked inside of a tomato. <laughs> and because everything else we got was vegetables, we felt okay getting a giant plate of french fries and chicken. So the chicken he said was roasted on a spit. They're like huge chunks of chicken and there's like some kind of spice on it. is delicious and one of the, my favorite things I've eaten on this trip so far. It is has like the consistency and the tenderness of a rotisserie chicken, but like a high quality rotisserie chicken. I guess it's, it's on a spit, so it is kind of like a rotisserie chicken. But it's so, t like it's completely tender and the outside is slightly sweet and slightly smoky. And there's a whole bunch of like thyme and oregano sprinkled on top and the french fries are cooked very nicely. This is just delicious. That place is excellent. It really filled up the whole time we were there, so I think we picked a good place. Each of those plates were about six euros, mm -hmm. and something about Greek food is every plate that you get everywhere is freaking huge. Even the three dollar <laughs> euros that we've been eating like the whole time we've been here uh -huh. are massive. I don't know if we can eat anything for now. No, so I think it's like the, the highest point in the day, so it's hot and there's a lot of people out. So I think we're gonna head back to our, our Airbnb and take a little siesta. We're gonna go join Tessa and Ryan. Mm -hmm. And we're coming up, back out for dinner. Are they in that bag? And we're back. With Tessa and Ryan. Hey guys. So we actually spent the entire afternoon trying to get the kids to not fall asleep so that they sleep through the night tonight. And now we're gonna go have dinner. Yep, traveling with kids is fun ones running away. <laughs> Do you want pizza? Do you guys want pizza? Yeah! Pizza? pizza? Should we show them the place we picked out? 
Okay, so for dinner, we found ourselves at the closest Italian restaurant to our Airbnb because Tessa and Ryan spoiled really wanted pizza. So we got a Mediterranean pizza, which is like the closest combo we could find to Greek and Italian food, which I'm actually really happy about. It looks really good. But to start with, uh, we ordered bruschetta, which is really hard pieces of bread like with uh, minced tomatoes, some kind of cheese like mozzarella or goat cheese, and basil and olive oil on top. That looks really good. Oh, it's good. The cheese is really fresh and really soft, and the basil comes out really nicely. I don't think I've had bruschetta before. But I approve. It's really good. How's the pizza, buddy? It's good. Um, okay, so this is the Mediterranean pizza. This has like everything that you think of when you think of the Mediterranean all on a pizza. There's green olives, Kalamata olives, feta cheese, peppers and onions. Uh, so now we're gonna try it. It's a little salty, but like in a good, like, green olive salty kind of way. 10 out of 10. I would say dinner was a relative success. Ryan went home early with the kids, but uh, everything tasted really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, our food blog went... Yeah, sorry. It, <laughs> I, it's just a stressful process, you guys, but we are going to get better at it. Thanks you guys for coming along with us today and we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! You're being very chaotic right now and everyone else is like, showing it. <laughs> Drama. Are you taking a video? Drama. <laughs> oh, this take six. Is it like an olive? I don't yeah. know, it's not an olive. Look, it has little seeds in it. If you know what this is, please comment. Oh, that was you saying we're starting. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, tell me when we're starting. <laughs> Subscribe! No! <laughs> I thought he covered him first. Okay. We're going to be with them for seven days, and I just want to give you guys the inside scoop of Tea and Chibia. So if you have any questions, if you have anything you want to know, just comment in the comments, and I will answer all your questions. Because it's like a Q&A, but with real answers. Yeah, we know all about them.